Hi, I'm Chris. Have you ever considered why wolves howl at the moon? This great question was posted by the Dragoth, and we couldn't resist making a film about it. A wolf howling in front of a full moon is an iconic image, evoking feelings of power, strength, and even terror. But scientists have found absolutely no correlation between howling activity and the phasing of the moon. Wolves are nocturnal or crepuscular, which means that they are most active during dawn or dusk, so it's hardly surprising that they're often seen howling when the moon is visible. They also point their muzzles skywards into the starry night, as if they were howling directly at the moon. But again, this is not for dramatic effect. The wolves make the very same posture when they howl during the day. By lifting their chin and howling upwards, it maximizes the acoustics of the call, allowing them to reject it further. This, combined with the low-pitched nature of the call, means that it can be heard up to four miles away through the forest and tundra. For wolves, howling is like the glue that binds the pack together. They often forage over huge areas, and they need to stay in touch and know where the other pack members are. Howling is the best way to do that. A howl can also warn off neighbouring wolf packs. It helps to maintain territorial boundaries, but it doesn't always work. By going silent, one pack can hone in on a rival group and stealthily sneak up to kill some of their members. It might sound terrifying, but a major cause of wolf death is other wolves. Each wolf's howl is also slightly different, meaning that they can tell each other apart even in the dead of night. Bigger males tend to produce deeper tones, which can actually help the females pick out the best father for her pups. And an alpha male will frequently lower the pitch of his howl to add a degree of hostility to the message. In fact, lowering the pitch of a vocalization is an almost universal sign of increased aggressiveness in mammals. But the most impressive sound comes from the entire pack when they howl in chorus. They waver or modulate their calls, making it almost impossible to pick out one wolf's voice. In addition, the howls can be scattered by things like trees, rocks and valleys, so a couple of wolves howling in unison can sound like an entire pack. So wolves howl for a variety of reasons, but a wolf howling at the moon is, I'm afraid, wasting its breath.